Chua Chu Kang. Yeah, Chua Chu Kang. <laughs> I like Chua Chu Kang. Hey, you think Chua Chu Kang is very close to Malaysia, which is true. Yes, yeah. But there's so many facilities and amenities around, you know. Like yeah, what? Like my it. house? Yeah. yeah. So my like house. Your house is an amenity. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Let's Get Real Tiang Tender where we bring on board influential people and especially celebrities to talk mm -hmm. about their real estate journey. And today, we have two very special guests. Very, very popular guests. In fact, two very special to me because I've worked with them before in 2017 for three and a half years. No, 2015 for three and a half years, <laughs> I did 2018. And these two, <laughs> They are putting a lot of pressure on me because they are like professional hosts, you know, and they're sitting right next to me. Even watching NDP, right? Yes, they host. yes, they hosted NDP for the last two years, I think. Is it two? Is it two? Now, like. Anyway, we have Fauzi and Ish Worry. Hello. Welcome to the show. Okay, yeah, introduce yourself. Okay, hi, uh, hi everyone. I'm Ish Worry Gonna Sager. And I just uh, won an award at ATP. Yeah. yeah, congratulations on winning the award. Best actress. Best actress. Best actress. You're bringing it, you're bringing it. Never mind. Like, too heavy, too heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm an actress. I'm a host. I'm also an entrepreneur. Mm. Uh, yeah, lah, that's a yeah. bit about me. Yeah, and she stayed very far one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Fauzi Laili. I'm Ishwari's friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he also won it. Uh, last year, he won Pester a present. I know. This year. This year. Best yeah. uh, hosting Best one, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, take over there. Please make sure. No wonder you stress. Uh, yes, never bro. tell me. Yes. Oh, this both no, hosts and VPs are more. Hey, your host NDP how many years? Uh? Two years, right? I uh, Two years. I my, think for Fauzi is... Mine, I think... Long. I've See, a lot of many, many years. I, I performed also. Five, five years, eh? I did, I did five NDPs already. Wow. Yeah. wow. Okay, maybe we can go a little bit more uh, specific for Asia. Right? Like, what mm. kind of business are you running? And like. So, I used to run a sustainability business, mm. but Singapore a little bit tough uh, mm. to sustain it. Mm. So, <laughs> right now, I am creating my own uh, fashion label. I just recently launched my own label like uh, two weeks prior to Dipali. Congratulations. So, I'm working on that. Yeah. What oh, really? Name? I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't you scared, ask sponsor, ask sponsor. No, no, it's only for female. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. the label called? What's the label it's called? It's called Kashish. Kashish. Yeah, so it cool. basically means uh, attractive. Uh, yeah, attractive. I forgot what's the other meaning. Uh. It's okay. You're doing it alone? Uh? I'm doing it alone. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it alone. Wow. Yeah, so I've been traveling in and out of India yeah. because my tailor is based in wow. India. Yeah. yeah, so pretty much very invested in that right now. Nice. Oh. Yeah. What gave you the idea of starting Kashish? Like, what, uh, what the reason is it? because I, I like to believe that I have my own style when yes. it comes to dressing mm. uh, in traditional. Mm. And sadly, I don't really find that kind of style in Singapore. Nice. Mm. So my style is very, is, is very simple. Yeah. I believe less is more. So it's like very difficult to get, get the kind of clothes that I want here. Yes. So I thought, why not I just try and do it on my own. Yes. And usually when I post it on social media, right, mm. I have a lot of people asking me, where do you get this from? Where do you get that from? So I was like, okay, why not, you know, just try and see how it goes. So you wore your own brand for the public? No. <laughs> My sister's wore though. Oh, my sister's okay, wore, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> That's yeah. Nice. Okay. So, so when when is it like dropping? I mean like uh, is, is like it the like... first uh, the first launch was done like two weeks before the party. So it was a very good period because everybody was yeah, looking for clothes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So God's grace, it was yes. like all sold out. Yes. Yeah, wow. so wow. Yeah. So when's the next drop? When's the next drop? You need to travel back to India. Oh. <laughs> so is it next year or is it gonna be like December? Uh, I'm hoping before uh, during the new year. Okay. Mm. So that will be probably the next drop. Nice. I see. Yeah. Is there any link that we can have? Is is there any link that your website that you have? Like Instagram. Uh, Instagram is Instagram link. Kashish Kashish underscore Singapore with okay. a double E at Kashish the back. Kashish underscore Singapore. Double E is gonna be like the link. Is it like yes. that? Yes, yes, yeah. it's gonna be somewhere here. <laughs> right. And most important question is yeah. promo code, no, must ask. Got promo code. Sponsor cannot lah. No must promo code. Hey. No. Hey, wow, no discount <laughs> code. <laughs> you pay me for this. <laughs> okay, that might be a discount code, but Charlie will be will be paying for this. Discount code for my bank, for my bank, for my bank account. <laughs> All right, okay, Fauzi, back to you. So, yes. uh, what about you? Like, what are you busy with this season, or any like new milestones uh, coming up? Right now, I'm busy doing a property makeover series. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, something to do with you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a ten episodes where we meet with agents, IDs. We basically spruce up a place where it's been in the, in the listing for a few months, I think, that yeah. hasn't been sold. So right. we try to spruce up the place mm. and then put it back into the market and hopefully get to sell it. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. yeah. 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 So and they definitely need a very good host for this. Lah, because yeah. in Singapore, right, the homes, right, all look very similar sometimes. Mm. In them that Actually, it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so Fauzi is very good finding the in details. coming up with new things. <laughs> that doesn't even exist. 
<laughs> oh no, that's a misconception of agents, you see. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's that's interesting. So any interesting parts of the show that you actually saw during the process? Oh, definitely. Was, like, like I think property wise, like okay, I I own a like I have a bit a bit of land. Mm. Like mm. I bought a bit right? Mm. But I think the layman Singaporean don't really know the exact things when it comes to properties. Yeah. Mm. So doing this show, I've learned quite a few things, especially meeting with different agents. Mm. I have met like. 10 different agents for mm. yeah for the 10 episodes and then different IDs like uh, how the market works so mm. I've learned quite a few things lah. Mm. yes mm. wow is it is it like to you is it like you know seeing so many homes or see, talking to so many agents is it very eye opening where you know you hear different kinds of perspectives from ID and agents because they have oh, different yes. mindset right yes yes yes, yes definitely definitely yeah. uh, I'm also surprised at how expensive the prices are in Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I thought my house was expensive, and then now it's just getting higher and higher. So crazy, man! It's yes. crazy. It's crazy times. But yeah, it is what it is. Yes. Yeah. And the funny thing is that you know property prices will still be on the upward trajectory. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Singapore is just like that, right? Mm. Yes. So let's go a bit specific onto your own home journey, all right? Mm. So we can start with Ish first, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Where are you staying? Is it comfortable? Are you comfortable to share where you stay now? Yes, roughly? of course. I stay because I know you stay at roughly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what you told me. I stay yes, in the <laughs> west. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I belong to the best West. <laughs> yes. So I stay, I've been staying in Chachukang for the past 25 years. See? So I'm really Chachukang. 20 years. Yes, yeah, oh. Chachukang. See, Chachukang, best people there. Go to Malaysia 10 minutes without jam. Yeah, Fast. and you always don't complain. Yes. Then go Malaysia. Right? <laughs> 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 I always stay in Singapore. I better not see you going to Malaysia, I tell you. Maybe <laughs> 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 I think. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. so I've been living in uh, Chachukang for the past 20 years. So yes. prior to that, I was living in Bukit Panjang. Oh, so oh, my that? life has always been in the west side. Yes. So um boring right. Okay. No. <laughs> not boring. <laughs> Proud west. Okay, <laughs> next time if you buy your own house, will you choose west side? No right. Ah, no, 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 no. You know what? No, I might. I might. I don't know. It depends. Clementy. Uh, yeah, it's Clementine. Maybe Clementine <laughs> or Queenstown. <laughs> Queenstown. That's not really that's that's central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. central. Yeah, what's central? What's the central? Okay, Chua Chuka. Yeah. Chua <laughs> I like Chua Chuka. Eh, you all think Chua Chuka is very close to Malaysia, which is true. Yes. Yeah. But there's so many facilities and amenities around, you know. Like yeah, what? Like my good. house? Yeah, yeah. so my like house. Your house is an amenity. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. Hey guys, if you are watching till this part of the video, you know what? We want to thank you sincerely from the bottom of our hearts. And we just hope that this episode brought to you by Let's Get Real mm -hmm. is going to bring some laughter, some joy and enjoyment with your friends. That's right. And if you like our content, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any guests in mind that you'd mm -hmm. like us to invite, yes. please leave it in the comment section down below. Right here. And if you have any burning questions that you want us to answer, scan this QR code That's right. our it's investment gonna be here. team will get back to you ASAP. Absolutely. There's no dumb questions. Remember, stay invested. Mm -hmm. And right now, let's get back to the show. Back to the show. <laughs> yeah. So my house, uh. right beside my house, there's a secondary school. Right in front of my house, there's mm. a primary school. Okay. There's a Chachikang Stadium, which is like five minutes away. Okay. Five minutes away, I'm from UT and Marty Station okay. and UT Point. <laughs> I'm ten waiting minutes, for a special ten minutes amenity. Away, ten minutes away, I have uh, Chachikang Safra. Okay. I have a lot one. I have a huge interchange, bus interchange. And also a lot of army camps. <laughs> Segment. Yeah. Yeah, for the army boys who are, who are, who are there, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I want to nap. <laughs> they don't have all that lah. So you see, everything is there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good for you. You are the perfect ambassador for Chachuka. Yeah, I'm yeah. so glad. Yeah, so Chachuka have a lot of passion there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. But I just saw, no, I went to house right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. I took the lift right there. I saw the, the minister. Wow, it's actually our... M Mr. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence Wong. Wong. Yeah. Yeah. No, our yeah. PM. Yeah. Our PM, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Soon to be PM. Soon to be PM. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. What you have, I have Mr. Lawrence Wong. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so uh, when you shifted from Bukit Panjang to Chachuka, right? Mm -hmm. Was it the only shift that you had in your life? Only shift in my What's life? What's the for shifting? Was it upgrading? Was it I think, um, so my parents, I think they decided to upgrade because uh, I have like three other siblings. So we are quite a big family. Wow. So we needed, we needed more space. Mm. So that's the reason why. Okay, Bukit, Bukit Panjang was I think three room flat. Yeah. Three room, three room means two bedroom, ah? no. Yes, two yeah. bedroom. Two bedroom. Yeah. Oh, so there was yes. like four kids and my mother and Not father. Yeah. So it was quite a huge family. So we mm. moved to a four room flat. Mm. And those days, like houses were really big. Not yeah. like the BTOs yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah. Like yeah. so small. Yeah. But like, 
like my house current house like whoever comes over to our place is like wow your house is so big house mm. is so big mm. so I think that's why they want needed that upgrade yeah. Nice. nice yeah and I think I've also asked them like do y'all do y'all plan on like shifting like probably when I was like much like younger I asked like do you want to shift or something they were like mm. pretty much very comfortable with where they were mm. yeah so it's like and until now when I ask them like do you want to shift they say no they're happy with where they are nice yeah great mm. okay yeah, thanks for sharing no problem what about Fauzi what about yourself like um, currently now you're staying in your BTO right yeah. what about before that like growing up how was like you know a shifting I stay in Bedok like? now I've always been a Bedok boy wow yeah so I was born in Bedok not born in Bedok Reservoir but I was born in KK but then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I stayed in Bedok Reservoir and then I moved to Bedok North and then Bedok North and then Bedok North again and now I'm still at Bedok North Bedok has one of the best food Bedok is Singapore. the best yes <laughs> <laughs> Just full stop. Yes. Because it yeah. makes your heart uh, beat, right? Blue, 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 blue. Yeah. Wow, that wow. joke. That's good. That eh? joke. <laughs> Ever become a dad, become a dad joke. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever Ish was very proud of just now, we also have. So I don't want to say lah. Yes. <laughs> we only don't have. We also have Ami Camp, Bedok Camp. Yes, have Bedok Camp. So whatever you have, we have also. Lawrence Wong, you don't have. We don't have Lawrence Wong. <laughs> 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 we have the East Coast <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so so when you're growing up, how many how many times do you shift home? Or was it like Ooh, this? Uh, okay. Uh, wait, let me think. Uh, okay, when I'm growing up. I, shift, I think yeah. three times. Wow! But all at the oh, same time, like, like literally walking distance. Kind of like I move from uh, this one then opposite. Oh, then what, what's the reason? Yeah, what's the reason? I think my my dad. Uh, okay, so uh, we my first but when uh, when I was a bit uh, older lah, like mm. I think like in, in kindergarten, what I can remember really right, mm. it was a three room flat. Mm. It was three room flat. Then there was like three uh, me, my sister, and my my younger brother, so and my parents right. So there's five of us. So yeah. I think as we got older, I think more space was needed. Yeah, mm. and then uh, that's where I realized like I was still like, thinking like why didn't my dad like get a bigger house mm. when Uzanga. Then I think that was his mistake. Then he was telling us also like, mm. actually I got a uh, bigger so that when you downgrade, that is easier. Yeah. But now he he managed to do it lah because yeah. like so we moved from a, a, a three room to another three room mm. and then moved to a four room mm. and then now he's on his own yeah. like, to a three room. Right. Like, he's fully paid that right. already. Yeah. So, so that was the that was a good move on his end lah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm like starting my own journey lah. Yes. My own four room lah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And your four room BTO yes. is reaching its MOP soon, is it? Uh, MOP already. How is it like? Okay, so MOP is always the time where everybody's thinking about selling. Oh, yes. Because yes. all the agents are knocking on your door lah. Yes. 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 Literally. Every single night. Fly, yes. Flyers every day. They yeah. always say this, eh? That is the biggest reason why people from MOP flats want to move out because all the agents every day knock the door. <laughs> yeah. You go condo is gated. I, I just didn't open the door. I just don't open the just door anymore. Just put there a sign say do not knock, not looking to sell. Actually, that's a hack. A lot of the owners, our owners do that. Really? Oh. Or they put their own agent friends there, right? They say, I already have an agent. Ah. That's what I do, what? I put a sign outside. You want to knock door, we don't have yeah, it. Right. You want to knock my door, you only can cobra with me. Because it's an agent. Okay, so for yourself, like any plans coming up? Uh, uh, to oh. be honest with you, like uh, I am in discussion with my wife, but the thing is, we don't have any like uh, like like strong reason for us to move out or sell the house because yeah. like uh, it's just the two of us. We yeah. don't have kids yet, yeah. and then we we yeah. have a forum, so we have extra space in the yeah. in the, in the it's house. It's very comfortable, It's very comfortable yeah. for yeah. us, and then like location wise, like it's, it's very difficult yeah. to find another place in the east where I'm we are comfortable with. Yeah. Mm. So the only reason for us, if we want to make this move or make this change, is for us to uh, like want to make investment, yeah. Yes, mm. like, I think I know of. People who like move to a condo, then after that, after three years, and they cash out, flip. cash out, you know, yeah. flip. Uh, mm. This flipping thing, yes. I'm new to the game, yes. so I'm mm. like, I'm still trying to understand the, the context and yes. uh, mm. you know the basic behind yes. it. So mm. whether it works for us or not, uh, mm. we're still in discussions for that, lah. Mm. I see. Mm. If you don't mind sharing, yeah. when you bought your BTO yeah. last time versus now, how much you see the the price is? Oh, What's the difference? So, uh, I can tell you how much yes. I bought. I bought it for four hundred. About four twenty. Mm. Now I think uh, I can get it for eight hundred. So it's four hundred thousand dollars probably. Yes, 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 yes. Like my neighbor just in front of me, five room. Yes. He just sold it for five. He actually moved out already. Yes. Uh, Nine hundred plus. Yes. Wow. Crazy. Five wow. Insane, right? Oh insane. Right. It's in Bedok, you know. Yes. So how long did you wait for your beef? Oh, chuchu ka? Chuchu ka? God. So two also got the two, but divide by two. <laughs> no, just joking. Well, I tell you, you won't get any clients from the west. Any, 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 any,
Because we both trust Kang. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> okay, lah, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so uh, how many years do you wait before the BTO? came and then you stayed for five years. So how many years was the building process? Oh, like literally five years. So I got engaged yeah. in 2012. Yeah. Uh, and we we applied for BTO then. Yeah. Mm. And we got married in 2013. Yeah. Uh, we were staying with my parents. Yeah. Uh, like move lah here. Yeah. Her parents, my parents, all that. So we literally waited for five years before we got our keys on, nice. in 2018. Mm. Yeah. So like when Tanglin ended, yeah. at the end of 2018, the another basin came, which is my house. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. But Tanglin was a blessing. I think we all can agree yeah. with that because yeah, like yeah. that was like our first long form project, right? Yeah. And then like we could save a lot of money yeah. because of that. Wow. Yeah. And that really like like, like I, for example like my house, the renovation I paid it in full. full. I didn't nice. take any loans, okay. so that's one of the blessings that I will forever be grateful for. Yeah. 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 So how do you feel about making four hundred thousand dollars in ten years? In in what years? Ten years. Because ten five years. years of key collection and five years of MOP. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't feel the money, so like I don't feel anything lah. But yeah. if you put it in that context, like actually, yeah lah, that's that's quite a, a good quite a big amount of money. Yeah, like good yeah. investment, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yes. Congratulations yes. to you. Oh, right. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. You didn't see it coming, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> no one expected like usually yeah. for BTO yeah. that you make such money, but yeah. you did it. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ish, what about yourself? Like any plans to buy your? Are you you're staying with parents? I'm right? still staying with my any parents. Any plans yeah. to buy your own place soon? Or so. In other words, when are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boss. Okay. Sign up, my guys. Sign up with the link below. Okay, okay we'll do the interview. We'll do the interview. Yeah. Let's go, Ling Ling, Liao Liao. Let's go, Ling Ling, Liao Liao. So the thing is, I've always wanted to get my own property. So I was looking into buying a condo, yes. mm. like what thousand say, like probably like you know, but get a condo and rent it out, you know, mm. and then mm. few years later sell it out. Yes. Because I I am okay with uh, staying with my parents, and mm. I think it's also an Indian thing, you know. Yes. You it's okay, it's normal to stay with your parents right. and everything. Mm. And uh, so if I don't get married by thirty five. Mm. How old are you now? I'm 33. Yeah. Wow, soon, soon. Yeah. 35, soon, soon. you can buy your own place. Yeah, That's 35. what I mean. I'm not saying you're old. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. If you feel that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 35, uh, but if when I turn 35, I'm still not married, then I will <clears throat> probably get my own uh, like flat. Mm. So now I also realize that there's a lot of changes to the um, single scheme yeah, as yes. well. Yeah, because yeah, now, yeah. last time, I think you cannot purchase, singles cannot purchase BTOs, but mm. now you can. And, yeah, 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 and then you also can get. Um, uh, housing in prime areas yes. which you can't last time. Yes. Yeah. So I think for singles, uh, there are also a lot of avenues now that you can purchase your mm. own HDB flat. You're mm. not like constrained to only purchasing like a resale flat yes. or mm. only in a certain area. Yes. So that's a good thing. But I'm also hoping that I don't get there yes. when I'm 35. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're a big deal lah. I, I would want a BTO. Okay, I would okay, want okay. yeah, I would want that. I mean to me, I, I always felt that a uh, condo was more like an investment. Mm. Yes. Yeah, but if I want to really get a house, it's not really where you get your house, it's yeah. how you make your home. I yeah. believe in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would love to get a a, a, a hate I mean a BTO and then build a home. Yes. If I married by 35. If I don't, probably I'm still I'm actually looking into condo properties right now. Yes. Mm. But it's just like you said, it's a very taxing process because you yeah. want to make sure you get it right and you then you're money. putting in money and everything. Yes. You just don't want to just you no know, put it somewhere. That's the thing about yes. this property. Yeah. Thing, yes. We should have been learning this in school. school. I agree. I, I right. definitely you know why this, agree. This episode was created. Who like, cares yeah. about yeah. the other things? <laughs> Subsection. No, no, no. It's hmm. important, guys. Okay. It's important. Sorry. But we <laughs> wish, <laughs> we hoped this needs to be a subject in school. Yeah. That's right. Yes. At least the basics, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. at least the things we that we need, need to know. know. Yeah. Yeah. CPF. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who knows about CPF? Yes. Correct. We have to learn it yes. ourselves. That's yeah. True. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's this one. I'm just looking into properties in terms of condo. But like what Fauzi said, I just wished we had proper guidance, yes. like more information yeah. or ready information. Like, yeah. no, I mean, not to be mean, like some some agents they just want to make money. Make money mm. and commission. So it's like yeah. they, they don't really go all out for your for yes. your well being, yeah, yeah, for your yeah, interest. Yeah. So That's I not just, me, by the way. Just saying, just saying. Right. This kind of okay, lah. Like, <laughs> no, Chinese are good guy, lah. Like, Chinese are good yeah, guy, lah. Like. Yeah, yeah, I can trust him. Can trust him. So yeah. So that's that's where I'm at right now. Yes. Yeah. That's right. So one one interesting thing that I'm hearing you say is that there's this uh, dilemma between you know condos versus HDBs, right? Mm -hmm. Which one should you consider? So there was one. Uh, I mean, Fauzi's case inspired us, right? So four hundred thousand dollars in ten years, right? Yeah. And then for condo side, the good things about condos is that you can flip within three years. Every mm -hmm. three years you can flip, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll share with you one case study, and then after I'm gonna ask you about your dream home. So get okay. your dream homes of this. Okay. So I have a client, right, uh, who was uh, 33 when they engaged us, right, and then now they are 30, uh, 36, and then the other is 38, right? Mm -hmm. Make a guess. They bought two condos under individual names, wow. right? Three years, uh, mm -hmm. so they bought a brand new condo. Then 
think guess how much profit do you think they made? Okay, it's a four bedroom mm-hmm. uh, in Tampines. Okay, okay, individual units. Make a guess how much do you think they made after three years? I don't know, man. A million? A million. Wow. You? What about you? What do you think? I would want two to units, say right? Two units. Two yes. units. I think it should be more than a million at least. Wow. Okay, great, right? So correct. So both units combined made a million dollars plus profits in mm-hmm. three years. They started off uh, in a BTO at Pongo. <coughs> now they're thinking of buying a land because of the one million dollars they made from their wow. home. And not only that, you still can get back the down payment of your home. So actually, in total, they got back about one point five million. Just nice. Mm. And they're self-employed. So I still remember three years back, they were like, how to make a million dollars, how to be a millionaire. But through real estate, they did it. However, there's a caveat here. And you're right, right? A lot of agents, they are pushing high commission products. Yeah. You know? mm. Just to put it out there, new launches have high commission. Yep. Yep. That's the reason why you always see ads for new launches. You exactly. don't see ads for resale. Right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is something that we want to change. Because you see, now in today's market, the new launches, just recent news, just two, uh, yesterday, right? Jaden in the West. Jurong. Mm-hmm. 88%, 88% man. 88% sold. Right? Majority oh. are the one bedroom, the one plus study, and the two. But fun fact, the one and one plus study are always the hardest unit to sell in the resale market. Mm. So oh, now we yeah. face some of the units where the owners come to us with one plus study or one, mm. take long. So because two men supply and no one's going to buy for upgrading. Mm. So there are some things that we all need to know like in a series like this. So yeah, right, right? Uh. So that's that's the rest of the investments. Okay, so now let's go into your dream home. Okay? Uh-huh. Your, what's your dream home like? And then what's your dream home like? My dream home. Like if money wasn't an issue. Lah. Yes. Okay, yeah. I've, I've always thought of a landed property. Nice. Where, uh, so it's like me, my husband, we're talking about 10 years from yes. now. Okay, let's mm. say 10 years from now, mm. me, my husband, my kids, and I would love my parents to still be with me. Mm. So it's like, you know, probably like the second floor is their floor, mm. and then the third floor is like for my husband and my, my kids, mm. and then just a nice garden, and then like a basement with like a relaxation area. Just a happy home, uh. yes. yeah. Yes. That's about That's it. It's actually very possible, uh. I, 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 no, Your dream is not that big, you know. Yes. Really? Yeah, it's quite possible, uh. Yes. Yeah. Have you is... heard of mine? <laughs> no. What is your? You got man. <laughs> you said yeah. HDB still, uh. No, my dream home is like landed, uh-huh. but eight stories. So I stay the eight story because I don't like cockroach and rats. Yeah, then the below is just security guard all the way. Not. You, you want to achieve that or not? You go to Malaysia or you go to India? Correct. Hong Kong is millionaire already. <laughs> I tell you. Even now you can go and get it already. Okay, so that's, that's your dream yeah. home. Where is it going to be at? Where is it going to be at? I've never really thought about the location to be honest. Yeah. I mean, uh, like 10 years from now, so many things are going to be changing. Like mm. even like mm. like even in the west side, yeah, I know yeah. many might complain that you know we don't have much happening. but. You you know, like developments are coming in, yes, changes are being made. Right? Yeah, yes, and every, everything's being very accessible to yes. everybody, despite yep. which region they are in. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think the area would be such a problem, like would be much of an issue. I think mm. it's just whether that whole estate is peaceful. I mean, safety is not an issue in yes. Singapore. So it's mm. just about, like I said, I know it might sound cliche. It doesn't matter where, yes, but it's, it's, a it, it's a home yes. and how you how you manage it. Yeah, yes. serene, homely. That's it. Most yes, that's it. Yeah. 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 Actually, the West there are a couple of quite affordable landed homes as well. Yes. About four yeah. Plus yeah. yeah. That's okay. Yeah. What about you, Fauzi? Well, actually, What's like, your dream? You, you all made me think. I mean, like, when you guys were like going through this, I was like, I didn't really think about what's my dream home, you know. But I think, um, in terms of practicality, right? Mm. Like, I'm not at that phase where my parents are getting older and then there's a plane flying also. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm in, at this phase where my parents are getting older. So, mm. realistically, right, like, like um, even though they have their own space now, but, I don't know, maybe in the next, hopefully not too sh- soon, but yeah. uh, 10 years maybe, 10 mm. years or so. Yeah. Either one of them may go, and then like I have to take care of one one of them or mm. both. I don't know. Mm. So I need space yeah. in terms of that. So uh, I need, I always have in mind like okay, in my house there must be one spare room at least, mm. yes. so that you can anytime just uh, uh, take yeah. any yeah. of my, my parents yeah. in, right? Mm. Both both ways are either doesn't matter my my side or mm. my wife's side. It doesn't matter. Mm. So we have that responsibility, right? Yeah. Um, but of course, if money is not an issue, yeah, the more space the better. Mm. Uh, like if like I want to be like. Uh, he also can eight stories also can but of course like I'm going to be realistic about it like prices in Singapore are crazy and I'm a freelancer so Mm. I don't know what's going to happen maybe like I do some business or what I don't know but realistically I just want to be comfortable where Mm. there's enough space for everyone and not too big because like 
like I don't have a helper at home yeah. so like when you clean up yourself right and yeah, I know uh, it's uh, not funny huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know that <laughs> so yeah 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 but of course like if you you grow in assets and you grow in life yeah. you make some improvements in your life also and you want yeah. to have a helper in the future lah. but if that's possible then yeah maybe a landed property yes. would be nice mm. of which, course which area oh I'm I mean it's cider Steve. so like I always want to be in the east. What? Okay. Whatever. I need to share something. <laughs> I feel very guilty okay. during the whole, this whole session. Why? 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 Because I stayed church for 20 years. Yeah. But next year I'm shifting to the east also. Ah, <laughs> there sorry. you go. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> but why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me it's more of a personal reason because um. I love the East Coast Park, right? So I would mm. really drive all the way to East Coast Park. Don't come back one Park, what? I went before. Oh, it's wow. different. West Coast Park. <laughs> West Coast Park also went before. Very different. And, uh, <laughs> Very different. Uh, yes. <laughs> and a lot of my clients and uh, my my mentors in my business, they stay in District 15. So I wanted to shift there just for a particular mm. reason. Uh-huh. Singapore is very small. So my parents stay in the West. Mm-hmm. My in-laws stay in the West. Actually, mm. all stay in Chujukang, eh? Bukit Panjang also. Eh? Mm. But I think travelling down to a should be okay. Do you also. notice yeah, like yeah. Uh, she, he spoke the Asian language, District 15? Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. I have no idea what is district. Sorry. I realized that when I was doing the property yes. show, uh, uh, I'm doing the district. What is this? <laughs> what is district? What is district? I don't know. Correct. <laughs> East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. yeah, East, Coast. <laughs> East Coast area. Beautiful. Okay, so let's let's just think a little bit more from there, right? Just wondering. So now, if we are looking for a landed property, right? That's five billion dollars. Mm. Okay, the down payment is going to be about one point five million dollars yeah. cash, especially when you're a freelancer, it'll be cash, right? Mm. Will you all be relying solely on your self, uh, your your self-employed income, or would you want to go through investments to flip to get the money in to pay for the one point five? How how will it work for you guys? I think for me, I would want to take the investment mm. route. Mm. Yeah, mm. because you know, I mean, truth to be told, when you really put on the table like cold hard cash, mm. it's a bit of hard okay. pain. Yeah. But if you're doing investment, you know that okay, you know what? I'm I'm selling something and then I'm getting money from it. Correct. It's like it's not coming from, it's not say it's not coming from your pocket, but yes. it's not literally coming out from your pocket. Mm. So I feel mm. the mm. the I mean it's your home at the end of the day, but yes. like what Fazi say, we, let's not like it's not I mean property in Singapore is crazy, crazy. expensive. Yeah. I mean you have to be at, really careful, right? Yeah, yes, like you know careful. like selling normal I mean HDB flats is like I just saw a news. I don't know whether it was Bishan or whatsoever. They they sell like Amokyo. a four. I'm okay. Is it one point six or something? One point zero six. Eh, this one point six one is which one? Ah, I think it's Amokyo. This Amokyo, year, yeah. I know that there's three hundred and seventy-seven million dollar flats that sector in Singapore. Yes, it's, it's just right next to my blog, you know. You see, wow. yeah. it's just Four so roommate. crazy expensive, and that is like the situation, the reality right now. But imagine like five years or ten years from now, yeah. it's going to be crazy. HDB flats are going to the prices are going to rise. Mm. So imagine for HDB flats, it's really so expensive. Mm. How about? Private, private properties is going to be insane. Well. So I've even thought about migrating to some other country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it crossed, it came across all. Yeah, yeah Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia. Yeah, it's not really Malaysia. Thailand, Australia. I want Canada. Oh, Australia, I like Canada. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Canada, New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. So far. Yeah, Canada I mean it's not. Far. It's not that because I don't like Singapore. I yeah. love Singapore. Yeah. I mean the safety wise, the security wise, and whatsoever. But. It's just very expensive. The cost true, of living true, is expensive. True, 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 the housing true. is Agreed. very expensive. Yeah. I mean, government is making schemes, uh, changes to the schemes and yeah. whatsoever. Mm. But the salary is still here, but the prices yeah. are going up mm. and yeah. up. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. really very difficult. Yeah, yeah, it's really very tough. Mm. So if you ask me, I would want to take the investment route. Makes sense, I feel right? that it would be much more easier on my pocket yes. and easier for me mm. mentally as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's great. And so so the thing here is that if the property prices stay the same, just stay the same, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, you still can get back the down payment that you put in. So it's just putting it for a while. You know, the 1.5 mm-hmm. million that you put in for a down yeah. payment, you still can take it back after you sell a property. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just putting in a, like a false savings yeah. Yeah. property. Yeah. But you have to choose correctly, like what Fauzi mentioned. Yeah. You have to be very prudent. If not, you lose the money. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Fauzi? Like, do you, will you choose the investment route or the self-employed route? Of course, I, I don't think I can, even, I can even like afford the, the, the savings route because like, I will need the right? money for like, yeah. some other things. Yeah. You know, uh, like, um, yeah, if, if that's possible, the investment route would be the best actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Okay. Why not let's go into our game? Okay, so without further ado, let's go into the game section. That's right. So- In this game show, contestants will answer questions chosen by the host. Each contestant will give their answers by raising the corresponding signs. They will be given a point for each correct answer. First contestant to reach three points will be crowned the winner. If there is a tie, both contestants will attempt a tiebreaker and the first contestant who answers the question correctly will be crowned the winner. Okay. Let's go. Okay, loser got forfeit though. 
Wah, for only, only, only for this episode. <laughs> I call no, wait, wait, wait. The winner don't get prize. No, the loser no, don't no, get no, <laughs> What kind of show is this? Nonsense. Ah. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Very paisa leh. Okay, yeah, when he <laughs> call us. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, first question. Yeah. If you and your spouse buy a property together as co-owners, both names need not be on the loan. Real or not real? Alamak. Oh, nice! Oh, lovely leh. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay ah. Then you can answer. Okay, you, 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 you explain your answer first. I don't know. I don't have spouse. How so I you. Know? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyhow, you cannot use this kind of tactic, one ah. Hey, your question wrong okay. ah. You must. Okay, if you and the spouse buy a property together as uh-huh. co-owners, both names need not be on the loan. No real need. or not real? No need ah. One person enough what? Need need. Wow. Okay, you explain why need. Because I'm. I bought my house. Uh, both as co-owners. Uh, co-owners Must yeah. have. Uh. So both our names are in. But yes. if you but have like a choice, but the first owner and second, yes. uh, the. But I think I think yeah. based on my general knowledge, yes. I feel that even if you're married, but mm-hmm. if you just want to put one person's name on the loan, I think mm-hmm. it's fine. Yeah. But you are buying it as co-owners. Yeah. I I know Ayala. it's fine, but you. No lah, but loan no need what is ownership then. First owner and second owner. What? Ah. I feel that it is loan in just one okay, person. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. This convincing, you know. I feel like it makes sense, eh? Because loan, what? Loan, you can always take individual loan, what? It's ownership, then first owner, second owner, what? No, what? Okay. Mm. I know already. Need to be on loan, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, point goes to. <laughs> Let's go there. My wife is going to be so <laughs> disappointed and you're going to after 10 years, you still don't understand. <laughs> so it's real. Okay, yes. even as co-owners, right, you, you just need one person's name to be on the loan. If yes. that person can afford it, lah, yes. to take the loan himself. Understand not, Fauzi Laili. <laughs> Sorry, wife. Sorry, no. <laughs> okay. Alright, one nail. Yes. One nail. Ah. Next question. Love. It's, not, it's not easy, it's not easy. Okay, you can use your CPF to buy commercial property. Real or not real? Commercial property? Commercial property is yes. like what property? Commercial property is, is like not residential property. Not <laughs> shop HDB. Shop houses. Yeah, shop houses. Uh, cannot lah. Office. Okay, not real. And then... Well, this one I don't know. So I'm just going to answer. Real. What nice. This is my favorite episode. Well, I love eh. this. Yeah, <laughs> because they always different answer. <laughs> just the real episode episode usually same answer. <laughs> yeah, always same answer. Yeah. Okay. Is you explain why you can use CPF to buy commercial property? I like to believe that our government has <laughs> has has give us ways this to use how our you CPF. Get NDP jobs. Oh. Every year. <laughs> that's how I believe because our gov- government wants to make it accessible for everyone to own a property, right. be it commercial it, or non-commercial. Oh, oh, okay. So and so I think that is the, the purpose of the CPF. Okay. Central Provident Fund. <laughs> no, our government is very good. So I think that. It, it, it is, I'm not sure of the percentage that can be used, yeah. but can be used. Can be used. <laughs> okay, Fauzi? <laughs> I would like to believe our government is also smart enough to also take care of the market and also mm. like um, use the uh, Central Provident Fund for, <laughs> for, <laughs> for the right uh, purposes and uh, I think we need to concentrate. So uh, you are saying it. commercial property is not the right use, is it? Yes, Shop because... Houses, uh, why I cannot? Because, because we, it's more important for us to give a house to to our residents lah, to our mm. citizens. So not the, the need to get it through face. <laughs> <laughs> need to convince ah. If you cannot convince, you confuse ah. <laughs> <laughs> See, sorry not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, both of us don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, we both not confident, but we did. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love no, it. yeah, yo, like it's like almost it makes sense, you know. It yeah. almost makes sense. Yeah, it almost makes sense. Okay. Okay. So the answer. So the answer is. <laughs> Who's right? Who's right? Wait, wait. I need to see real, not real. <laughs> I, know, uh. I know. I know. I know. Huh? Not real. Fauzi gets the point. Why yes. not? Yes. You cannot. That one. Priority so must buy house one. The government is still very good. <laughs> yes. But CPF <laughs> only can be used for residential. Correct. <laughs> properties. Yeah. Maybe after this they'll okay. change. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. correct. Correct. So you want to buy commercial property? Cash. Cash. Yes. All right. All right. Let's go. Next. So one one. Wait, wait, wait. I understand. It's also because ah, in the future ah, then the people don't want to buy house, just stay in their commercial place. That's how. Correct, lor. Okay, do that, do that. Now I know, now I know. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> angry, angry. <laughs> okay. Okay, ah? okay. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me find. Ah. 
You need help? Charlie go. <laughs> Afai easy one, relax. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And we both easy high also, we anyhow one. We anyhow. No, okay, Afai okay. difficult one, Afai <laughs> difficult okay. one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this one. Alamak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the score? Huh? One, one. One, one. Okay, one. okay. So next question. After 2019, we must pay seller stamp duty if we sell after holding the property for five years. Real or not real? What duty? St seller stamp duty. SSD. Seller stamp duty. You don't know right what it is. I have no okay, idea. Okay, so basically it's a tax. Uh. That if you sell your property, right? Uh huh. Uh, within a couple of years after you just bought, uh huh. Then you must pay tax for condos for private yeah. properties. Actually, I'm not sure, but like since he mentioned, I like to say lah. I say real. Always so we must pay st seller stamp duty if we sell since after holding the right. property for five years. So example today, I just bought a property, right? Mm. One year later, I decided to sell, I have to pay taxes to the government. Yes. So the taxes decrease every single year as well. Yeah. And so here, they're like saying that you must years. hold for five years. Then you'll be tax-free. Oh. Yeah. I don't think uh, Singapore, everything must pay. <laughs> I thought you said our government very good. <laughs> Can you don't say things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Things yeah. Are Singapore government very good! <laughs> this one can put his You, you make us pay but you're still good! <laughs> okay, you repeat. You repeat, you repeat, you repeat the word you say just now. Singapore yeah. everything also must pay but it's worth it. Okay. I have no idea. I'm just gonna say not real. Mm. I still think it's not real. Why is it not real? Because as a seller, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I feel that must pay something ah. Uh. Yeah. Nothing comes. I don't know ah. Uh. <laughs> first thing first, I didn't even know what was yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I also don't know yeah. what it means. So, yes. uh, but I you? feel that, honestly, I feel that in Singapore property, right, mm. somehow you have to pay something. If you sell, you something, must pay tax. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I don't think you can just like walk away without paying. Not saying the government's at fault, like, it's yeah. just the way it is ah. Uh. So I feel that you will have to pay. Even if it's not after five years. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm like You're actually half right, you know. Yeah. You, you I, I'm like thinking like in every step that the government takes or whatever, mm. right? Mm. Like it has to have an effect on uh the market lah. Mm. Right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's got it's supposed to manage the market, right? Yeah. So yeah. I think that's the whole so point. So imagine right? everybody gets a property, then just keep it for five years and then they sell it off, then the government or mm. whatever they don't get anything, then it doesn't make any sense because everybody will do it. I mean I'm sure the SSD will be pretty pricey, right? Yeah. Mm, so yeah. I think that you will have to pay still. Yeah. So okay. it encourages people to sell off the house? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so maybe I explain a little bit more about the seller's duty, right? Okay, see, 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 I'm a bit confused at all. Like, wait, what is going on? Okay, okay, okay so, explain, explain. So, just explain. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, so before 2019, right, mm. there's this thing called the seller's duty. Okay. So, seller's duty means if today you are a seller, you, mm. tend to, you want to sell in the open market, mm. within the first year, second year, third year, or fourth year of your purchase, mm. you have to pay taxes to the government, okay? So, last time before 2019, you have a four-year seller's duty period to uh -huh. prevent overflip thing because they don't want to oversupply in the market. Mm. Uh -huh. So if you sell within the first year, you have to pay 16% taxes to the government. Mm. Sell within the third year, 12%. Second year, 8%. The last year is uh, 4%. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Right now, post-2019, mm. is three years. No longer five, no longer four years. So mm. three years. Why? Because the government realised that the prices are going up too fast. Uh -huh. So they want to and allow some supply into the market, yeah. right? Okay. So it's three years. So right now, let's say if today you buy a home, uh -huh. if you sell within next by next year, uh -huh. right? You have to pay twelve percent taxes. Uh -huh. You sell two years from now, you have to pay eight percent taxes. Yeah. Mm. You sell three years from now, you have to pay four percent taxes. But if you sell after three years, like what Fauzi just said, yeah. flip three years, right? Uh -huh. Why they flip three years? Why three years? Because the three years is a sales duty period. So after that three years, you don't have to pay sales duty. Yep. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So where does the government earn from? The government earns from the buyer stamp duty or the additional buyer stamp duty when oh. people buy the property. Mm -hmm. So the answer is real, lah. Actually, the answer is not real because not you real. don't have to pay. You got the right answer, yeah, 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 yeah. but then the explanation is uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Makes yes. sense, makes sense. So okay. you all got it right. So it's one one each. <laughs> it's the point. Actually, why did we say it's... Yeah, because we also confused with the question. It's Charlie. Yes. No, actually, it's the question. <laughs> the question I, think what, I, think I wrote one. I wrote one. <laughs> like, I read mean, also a bit confusing. I think the structure. Uh, the structure of the yeah. question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when you cannot... You cannot blame anything, you blame the question. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the, the score is 2-1, right? 2-2. 2-2, 2-2, 2-2. Alright, very Last important. One. Next Last one, very one. important. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one. Huh? You know what's easy, right? Familiar, all familiar easy. Executive, Executive condo. condo. Yeah, condo. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So I can sell my EC in the open market like a regular condo as long as I'm still a seller. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I can sell my EC in the open market like a regular condo as long as I have reached my 5 years MOP. Real or not real? What does MOP stand for? Minimum, minimum occupation, occupation period. period. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> okay. Minimum occupation <laughs> period. 
I hope that means you must stay inside. Okay, oh, yeah. what's the question again? The question is, I can sell my EC in the open market like a regular condo as long as I have reached my five years NOP. MOP. MOP. EC is this, is the same as an other condominiums or is a. Uh, it's much bigger or something, it's like right? It's like subsidized. Yeah, subsidized. It used to be subsidized uh, private property. So it's under HDB, is it? Yes. HDB uh. ruling. HDB ruling changes. HDB things. ruling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HDB ruling. Yeah. So they're saying this question oh, is saying yes. that you have a you buy an EC, uh -huh. okay? Five years later, you can sell your EC in the open market like any condominium. Do you know Lequest near Chachuka? Lequest, there's this condo called Lequest. Yeah, no. Okay, no worries. That's the one of the only. She don't go out the house, right? <laughs> 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 okay, so you can go search <laughs> She only knows the army camp. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a K9 unit. Yeah. <laughs> Kanji, 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 Kanji. I think it's real. Okay. You ask Fauzi, explain first, then okay, I Okay, Fauzi, explain first. Uh, like, like back to the question like yeah. I asked, yeah. like, uh, is it under HDB? Right? So if it's under HDB, then yes. it usually has kind of the same ruling as normal BTOs and normal... Mm. Yes. Yeah. So normal HDB has got 5 year MOP. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this one, I guess they want to manage it. It makes sense for them to make the same rule. Mm. Okay, so condo ah. Uh, mm. Condo MOP. Eh, hey, condo got no MOP. SSD. Yeah, got only SSD. Yeah. Which is the... 3 years. 3 years. Yes, 3 years. Yes, 3 years. Yes, 3 years. Yes, 3 years. Yeah. That's why people flip, right? Yes, yes. after yeah. 3 years. Yes. So HDB is 5 years yes. MOP. Yes. Yeah. So, so they're saying... So you're saying it's real lah? Yeah, it's real, real. real. That means you can only sell your EC after, after five, five years. How about you, Ish? I also said real because it's not under private property because it's under HDB as well, right? Mm. You yes. see? So like what? Fauzi mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I asked him to go first. <laughs> so it's like, so I believe they still have, but I'm sure some EC would have like different set of rules uh, mm. or 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 or. But it's still under HDB, right? So still, it should be. I mean, it's under HDB, but it's EC, so I'm sure there's like different privilege to it. Mm. So maybe you don't have to be. Where are you going with this? I don't know. I want to, maybe I change. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the answer. This is, is not a one hour okay, show. Okay, you want to answer or not? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. what was your answer? Let me My see. answer was real. I like that, can or not? Can can you answer real also, ah? Yeah, yeah. you answer real also, right? Real yeah. So the answer is. Not real. Wow. Ah. Yes. Okay, actually, you all got. Actually, got the explanation half right. was half correct. Yeah, half okay, right, okay, half okay, right, okay, half yeah. right. Explain, please. Yeah. Explain, please. No, Charlie, you explain. Charlie, you explain. Yeah. You pass, right? Yes. I pass. I, of course, I know lah. <laughs> okay. I can sell my EC now. <laughs> okay, so EC, right, is really almost, is like, like we all said, HDB ruling. So okay. after five years, right, you can sell to uh, Singapore citizens PR. or PRs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you cannot sell to foreigners. Oh, yeah. so that's the only thing. That's correct. the only thing. You so, can only sell to foreigners after 10 years. Absolutely. So when you say open market, oh. is you can sell to foreigners. Foreigners can sell ah. to anybody. Yeah. Oh, we were right. not aware of that. Yeah. Yes. But condo, you can sell to anybody. You can sell to foreigners also. Yeah. Yes. 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 So we were actually quite correct. La. Yeah, half correct. Yeah, half, half correct. correct. Ah, half okay, correct. Okay, it's okay, just okay. that we don't understand because your question is. Yeah. Yeah. So next time if it's half yeah. correct, right? You just put like that. I like, said that like but just now. Then you yeah. say you, you put, put like, real. like like not. <laughs> you use the real to cover the real. Ah, uh, not real. Half correct. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's going on? Two, 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 two. Still. Yeah, last two, two, question. Two, two. Let's try for the last question, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Come okay. on, hey, this question. You can own both a condo and HDB with your spouse. The only way is to buy the HDB first and then the condo later on. Real or not real? Not real. Nice! <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, you want to explain first? No, he go first. Okay, Fozzie, explain first. We slayed it. <laughs> real. Uh, that means, Fozzie, you're, what you're saying is. You can, you can, you can have own, two properties. Yes, one a HDB and one, one a condo. A condo with your you spouse, ah? Yes, mm. but you have to get the with my spouse. Also. Yeah. The, the key word is with my spouse. Uh, no, I'm, I'm no, just no. the question. I just so I it just, does it change. It might, yeah. it might, it might, yeah. Okay, okay, let's just make it fun. Okay, okay, I say real. Real, ah? Uh, you say real, ah? So they need one winner, one loser, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, hey, well, just give up, just give up. Yeah, never end now. Yeah, never end now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very long at this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think can, I think can. You think can, ah? Huh? Mm. You, eh? Why you say can? That means you're saying cannot. You cannot own HDB and condo at the same time. You answer well. can. You can what? Then. Hey, read your question again. You can own both a condo and HDB with your spouse. The only way is to buy the HDB first and then the condo later. Actually, really? the, the second real. part second is the one. Yeah. Oh, I, I okay. say the second part is not real. Yeah. That means you are saying 
you both, I mean your spouse and you can own a condo and a HDB but it's not necessary that one has to come before the other. Oh, that means yeah. you're saying you can buy the condo, condo first, first then buy HDB? Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> you saw that face, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now I want to know that. Confirm my sister. No, no, no. I also, I also, I might be wrong, eh? Yeah. So the winner of this episode so today, you know, you know, or not, is. Bye. 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 At least my explanation, I got to explain a bit. My answer is, yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, yes. So oh, if you want yeah. to own a HDB first, right, yes. you need to be a couple, ma. Then you yes. can buy. If not, you want to be single, then you buy a single, single scheme. Yeah. Can also. But this one they say it has with a spouse. I with a spouse, yes. Yeah. Like. yeah, so let's say husband and wife first, right? Mm. Then the first property you need to buy will be HDB. If you buy a condo first, you cannot buy HDB. Yes. Yeah, 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 Last yeah, time, yeah. pre 2013, you can. So mm. people own condo, they buy HDB. Oh, mm. I was now thinking cannot. about back then. <laughs> like 10 years ago, yeah. So, so, that means your question you never read properly. Currently, you should have said, why would I ask you about 2013? <laughs> Might as well ask you about like the J Japanese so like you, get, you get married, right? Yes. So you and your spouse, you buy a condo first. Yes. yes. Then cannot get consequently, you cannot buy HDB. No, you have to all. sell your condo, then you can buy HDB. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. 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 And another thing that a lot of people don't know, right, um. is that when you buy a BTO, right, with your husband or your wife, uh. at the start, you don't have to be joint co-owners. Mm. Uh. You can be one owner, one essential occupier. Uh. Then later on, the essential occupier will be the one that buys the condo, then you don't have to pay A, B, and D. Oh, so a lot of people what they do when they, they have do HDB, that, right? Uh, yes. Uh, a lot of people what they do when they have HDB, right? Is that they buy, they want to buy a condo, right? They have to pay additional buy stamp duty, and it's twenty percent, which means let's say a condo is two million, you have to pay four hundred k taxes to the government, mm. right? Uh, then what they will do? Then the agent will come and say, why don't you sell first, then you buy two. So actually, you don't have to sell. What you have to do is at the start, right? Which is something a lot of the young couple should know. Mm. You buy the owner and essential occupier. Then the essential occupier, which is the other party, can free okay. up the name to buy the condo. Then ah. no ABSD. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What's ABSD again? Additional, additional buyer stamp, stamp duty. duty. When you own, taxes la. Correct. Okay, okay, when you okay. own two or more properties, you have to pay additional buyer stamp duty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Correct. So other countries, there are like some taxes like capital gains tax, mm. there's inheritance tax, Singapore don't have, only mm. additional buyer stamp duty. So if today you own one condo, mm -hmm. you decide to buy another one, you have to pay taxes. You decide to buy the third one, you have to pay 25% taxes. So you have to keep paying. Mm. Basically, like, the rich gets richer, so like, yeah. they oh. need to tax the rich people, right? Correct. Right? <laughs> 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 that's right. That's right. So we all made the same mistake. I think when you yeah. bought your BTA also, right? You yeah. put your wife as. I think so. I need to check again. Uh. Owner also, I think. Actually, this one, I'm going to be honest. Like, my wife knows more about mm. this than me. Yeah. And then yeah. she'll be like, she just give me the look like, so? How? You, you know what you're doing or not? <laughs> you won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, uh, if you put as, it's a, one as essential occupier, right? You can free up the name after MOP, after five years, right? Then mm. you can go and buy a condo. Mm. Oh. Then that's how a couple can own a HDB and a condo at the same time. Ah. Yeah. Ah. If they can afford it. Lah. Yes. Of course, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Correct. Why? Uh. I never knew that, now I know. Mm. Nice. So where are you getting married? 35 ah. Okay lah. Yeah, you see how you get, that, you <laughs> get married 25 ah. Uh -huh. Then you BTO right, it's going to take very long eh. Right? 5 years. So you buy resale lah, right? I I'm think I'll probably assuming. get a resale lah. Yeah, yeah. Condo, condo Just get condo straight yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah. Can invest my 3 years. Yeah. Then you just make sure that your rental income can cover your mortgage plus pocket money. Can already. Mm. Yeah. So example, if your mortgage is 4k right, you rent it out for 5.5. You get 1.5 every month. Then at least it's safe. Mm. That's what I would suggest lah. Mm. So I look for you ah. Look for me. Yes. <laughs> But I won't pay you because I can't. I do no need to pay. Buying, no need to pay. <laughs> no, don't need to pay. Don't need to pay. I Selling take. I take from the seller. <laughs> seller agent. Okay. So thank you so much to our two professional hosts <laughs> for not being here. You know because like we don't really yeah, have to man, go there. Yeah, man. Stress me but out. But let's already. give them a round of applause for being here. Yay! So thank you, Fauzi and Ishwari. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Get Real, Tiang Zhen. And you know we just hope that you love uh, this episode. If you love it, remember to give us a like, mm -hmm. subscribe to our channel, follow us, share with your friends, and you know the links of our. Our artists, our talents, you know, our hosts over here will all be below. Yes. Check them out, right? I think you guys should know them. La. They're the MDP hosts like, every year. We'll see them. Like, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and with that, bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys.